Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, glory, worship, and love for Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Ha Raka Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. Uh, what you see on the screen is the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. In Revelations chapter 13 and verse 16, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And this is a uh, Esau Edom. The so-called white man, but he's really red. He's the devil. The elite bankers. They're going to cause it. Uh, you're not going to be able to go to the store. You're not going to be able to get a driver's license or work. Uh, so a lot of people are going to get this. But the elect will not. And that no man might buy or sell. Save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay, so we're going into this time, which is going to uh, be Jacob's trouble. So I'm going to get that one. Uh, but if you're doing what the Lord uh, told you to do, keeping his commandments to the best of your ability and um, serving him, uh, you don't have to worry. Uh, in the time of trouble, he will take care of you. This is going to be Jeremiah. Chapter 30 and verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. The uh, remnant, the elect, 144,000 and one-third, will not receive this and will uh, be delivered by Yahweh Shai. For it shall come to pass in that day, said Yahweh of hosts, that I, I will break his yoke from off thy neck and bur will burst thy bonds and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. So we're not going to serve these devils. We're not going to serve these other nations. But they shall serve Yahweh their power and David their king whom I will raise up unto them. Therefore fear not. So don't fear. Uh, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai has got us. Therefore, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith Yahweh, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar and thy seed from the land of their captivity. The elect and their children will be saved. And Jacob shall return and shall be in rest. And be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. All right? And we're going into this time uh, right now. It's not very intense. But um, the devil, he's going to have to come down with great wrath because he knows he has but a short time. He's being exposed by the prophets of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right here in Revelations chapter 12 and verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power, which is a kingdom of righteousness. We are now in a kingdom of wickedness ruled by Esau Edom, the so-called white man, uh, that the devil that the Bible speaks of. And the power of his Hamashiach for the accuser, of our brethren is cast down which accused them before our power day and night and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto the death a certain amount of us uh will be sacrificed uh because the prophecies say but um most of us uh will be delivered Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. Because 
he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So this devil, he has a short time to do what he's going to do because it's his turn next. Um, this is Revelation chapter 6 uh, and verse 9. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of Yahweh and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. Okay? And then that's the, the tribulation. But right after the tribulation, and I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Those nukes are going to explode. And the heavens departed as a scroll, when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. The nukes are going to blast off when this, after this devil brings out the mark of the beast, which is this microchip you see on the screen. So this devil has but a short time. Um, this is Revelation chapter 14 and verse 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. This is um, Revelation chapter 15 and verse 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of Yahweh. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. This is a, a gigantic chariot that the elect and the one third will be on. And uh, it's going to have a clear bottom. That's why it says, And I saw as it were a sea of glass, a clear bottom, mingled with fire. You're going to see Babylon burning underneath. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of Yahweh. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Almighty, just and true are thy ways. Thou king of saints. Okay. And uh, we're going to be delivered via chariots. Um, right here in Matthew. This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened. And the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. ICBM nuclear missiles are going to explode here on Babylon the Great. 
And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds on chariots. What they call UFOs of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Okay. So if you get this microchip, you will burn in the lake of fire. You worshiping Esau. And uh, um, they're saying there are tiny microchips in that shop. So what does the scripture say? It says, never trust thy enemy. All right. This is um, Revelation chapter 18 and uh, verse 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and a hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich, through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Don't participate in this, uh, this devil's bullshit. We have our own holy days. We have our, uh, our power, Yahweh. We have our, uh, the, our king, Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. My people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. So if you get this, you're going to burn in the lake of fire. Uh, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh had remembered her iniquities. Reward her, even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works in the cup what she had filled, filled to her double. Talking about these uh, these devils, they're gonna get double destruction, double uh, double uh, slavery, and double death. How much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she said in her heart, "I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow." Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is Yahweh Baal Hashem, Yahweh Shai, who judgeth her. All right. So this place is going to be nuked by thermonuclear ICBM missiles. Right here, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 20. Rejoice over her. Thou heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets, for Yahweh hath avenged you on her. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is gonna avenge us on this uh, this whore, which is America. Um, this is Revelation chapter nineteen and verse ten, and I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me. See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And we're prophesying that this microchip is about uh to become mandatory to buy or sell, to do anything. And it's going to be a worldwide event. But as soon as this devil does that, they're going to be destroyed. And I saw heaven open, 
and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And we know his name is Yahweh Shai. This is his reputation. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of Yahweh. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. All right. So Yahweh Shai is coming with the thousands of angels, even thousands of thousands. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty Yahweh, And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And um, he's coming to take all these kingdoms. He's going to have the dominion. He's going to have the power. All right. This is Revelation chapter 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, which is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, but he's really red, shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So fuck this life. Fuck Esau. The Lord is coming back, and whatever has to happen, we got to do it. We are his servants, uh, serving him, prophesying uh, to his people. And you don't want to uh, worship this beast, this uh, devil. You want to worship Yahweh, which is the Most High. Baha Shem, which is in the name of Yahweh Shai, our King, Lord, and Savior, the Deliverer. Baha Shem, Ha Rakakadash, Baha Shem in the name of the Ha Rakakadash is the Holy Spirit. All right, so we're almost out of here. This is uh, Revelation chapter 1 and verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, chariots, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen, which means so be it. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, said Yahweh Shai, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. So our King is coming to save us, to deliver us from this devil, do not receive this, the shot, or that test under any circumstances, even unto death. All right? Our king is going to avenge us. I'm going to get that end with that one again. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 20. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for Yahweh hath avenged you on her. These devils are going to get double destruction. With that, I want to say Shalom to the elect.